the Amboseli grasslands in Kenya, where the Maasai feed their cattle, are drying up and everyone is feeling the heat, the dry spills and the unpredictable rainfalls. When the rains eventually come, they are violent and cause a lot of damage to communities and to the cattle. The signs are all over. The peak of Mount Kilimanjaro is also melting away. On the plains of Amboseli and much farther to Saikeri in Kajiado, the story is the same. It's been warmer than usual for months on end. Dr. Calvin Souko is a community climate change mitigation enthusiast from the Cooperative University of Kenya. I am a lecturer at the Cooperative University of Kenya. My training and background is uh, environmental science and climate change. So I presently engage in um, research activities revolving around climate change and adaptation and building community resilience to climate change. Global warming and greenhouse gas emissions are synonymous with warmer temperatures that change weather patterns and disrupt the balance of nature over time. This poses many risks to human and other forms of life on the planet. More than ever before, many people now face the threat of not having enough water regularly. Bold action to tackle the climate change crisis is more urgent than ever. Agriculture is, is one of the sectors that is uh, heavily impacted by climate change. And uh, a majority of women, majority of children, majority of the vulnerable groups, they are most hurt by these emergent issues like climate change and food insecurity. The One Planet Fellowship Program is designed to enhance the capacity of high potential young scientists working on agriculture and climate change, adaptation and mitigation in Africa by building their leadership, scientific research, networking and mentoring skills. The One Planet Fellowship has heightened my influence at the department and even my contribution and uh, I see it in the department that uh, for most research focused engagements they would want me to be part of the team because they know I have some experience, I have something to bring on the table. And part of the thing that I bring on the table is the professional skills and, 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 and the capacity that has been built into me through the award fellowship. Our institution is benefiting a lot from Dr. Calvin and uh, we have seen a lot of change in terms of leadership, in terms of uh, 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 proposal writing, in terms of data analysis, even the way he is interacting with the students. He has mentored a lot of students uh, every year. He always conducts a, a training on GIS to both undergraduate and postgraduate students. And uh, this award has helped him to be an all-round person, both academically, socially, and also in terms of mentorship of other uh, peers in the school. When I was drafting the Purpose Roadmap last year, I was not a lecturer. I was still a tutorial fellow, and I had not also completed my PhD. Part of the fellowship activity has been one of the things that have contributed to my promotion, and even to where I am professionally. I'm now a lecturer, which I wasn't by that time. And uh, I've also gotten a promotion even uh, at the levels within the university. And the engagements like the award fellowship are part of that contribution. My research portfolio is now bigger. People know I'm engaging in research activities. And that is a selling point, even when I'm writing proposals. Calvin has been very resourceful in terms of uh, curriculum development matters. We have seen him coming in hand in hand in shaping uh, our three environmental programs. Award seeks to contribute towards building a robust pipeline of African science leaders in agriculture climate interface, as well as create a vibrant, highly connected and intergenerational network of African and European scientists equipped to lead research focused on helping Africa's smallholder farmers adapt to a changing climate. My experience as a one uh, planet laureate candidate has been exciting. Uh, one major exciting aspect of the One Planet Fellowship is the networking that it has enabled me also to build, to meet so many professionals, 
to also extend uh, and form various research groups that now we are working on, developing proposals and all that. The mentorship program uh, has also enabled me to interact with my mentor who has also positively contributed a lot. No country can solve the climate crisis alone. No institute can do it alone either. Aware of that, the Cooperative University of Kenya and Tangazi University College, a constituent of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, have partnered in a bold step transversing the arid land of Kenya to meet the local communities in Saikeri in Kajiado. And together, through group discussions, they appreciate the community efforts towards survival and also give ideas on how to mitigate the effects of long years of drought brought about by climate change. We are here to learn about uh, how communities are coping with the extremes of climate change at their own level, without the influence of government, without the influence of outsiders. So those local based, those homegrown coping strategies is what we wanted to learn and we felt that our students would get to learn this from the community side and uh, they would also appreciate what participatory community research involves. The record-breaking heat, floods, storms, drought and wildfires devastating communities around the world underscores the grave risks we already face. Everyone must do their part. Now that uh, we partner and we are together at the university, we have a lot of ideas. One, we have a lot of know-how of uh, how to, uh, to prevent in the, in, the, in the days to come. This drought, because this drought, we have a lot of water. We have a lot of water, we have a lot of climate, we have how to control. We have a lot of water, we have a lot of Climate change is the single greatest threat to a sustainable future. But at the same time, addressing the climate challenge presents a golden opportunity to promote prosperity, security, and a brighter future for all. Hapo kumekauka maneno ya ngombe. Kuna hali ingine unaizafanya. My continuous engagement with the community leads me into interacting with different gender groups. Over the past one year, I've been able to engage close to 2,000 um, community uh, uh, farmers within Kisumu County. Within the same period, I've also had an opportunity to um, uh, undertake a community-based adaptation training program. Uh, so we trained close to, close to about 100 participants uh, drawn from uh, uh, private sector and, and, and non-state actors. Uh, I've also had an opportunity in the past one year to engage with communities in Makweni County um, through a project that is ongoing run, uh, which I'm part of from Cooperative University. And here we have engaged uh, farmers across different, uh, 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 across five sub-counties within Makweni County. And I can put the number to about 5,000 farmers that we have engaged with. Even in remote areas of Kenya, there is a recognition that we must all do the best we can to protect and hand over the planet to the next generation. Holistically, um, I have grown to, to be uh, an astute researcher, which to me is a resource that I carry to my department and to wherever I go. So the One Planet Fellowship has been a great journey and an experience. Thank you very much.